well, hi there. Uh, I didn't see you there. Uh, welcome back. Um, it's been a long, long year, and uh, as you guys just know, I just posted a new YouTube video. It's called Welcome Back. It's called Welcome Back Home, basically. So it's basically about me welcome back to my other home that I've known for a few, uh, for at least two years now or no two uh, yeah yeah two years uh so yeah guys uh we are back here with a video and as you guys know i uh i did a record i did a heavy metal collection on the on last last sunday which was actually our last day before we did our long stay with my mom which means i you probably saw a bunch of videos at my mom's house but yeah guys now those days are over uh now i'm finally ready to go back to come back here so it was my sister but we just forced her to come back so yeah that's how it was um and as you guys know i filmed uh this the slayer in the system of a down kind of thing so yeah and not only that guys I got a crate and what's in the crate records and yes guys I am a pretty big record fan I have at least I have 11 records guys so so yeah yep I have 11 records officially have 11 records but yeah guys here are some of the records i'm hoping for in the future obviously mega death rest in peace because that's an amazing album uh anthrax state of euphoria uh that's a that's a really good one uh maybe slayer south of heaven maybe but not only that i'm also uh, maybe looking for kind of old stuff like rush rush the, the sweet Definitely not Alice Cooper. I'm not really a big fan of Alice Cooper. But, yeah. But, you know, guys. So, let's get right into the um, video, shall we? So, basically, guys, we're going to go by very first. We're going to go by first and all the way up, okay? So, yeah. Everyone might get mad at me. But, I have a Michael Jackson picture disc of Thriller. Guys, I got this a few years ago. Probably back in, like, 2018. And I used to listen to a lot, a lot of Michael Jackson. But yeah, guys, this is some of his old stuff. Like, I mean, like, there's a few good songs on here. Like, Wanna Be Certain Some. And The Girl Is Mine. Like, that was an amazing song. Featured with Paul McCartney. Which, mm, not really. But then Side B has all the good songs. Like, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, and PYT, Pretty Woman. Pretty young thing and the lady in my life. I don't remember that much songs of that record, so yeah. Oh now hashtag Billy Joe Armstrong in the description right now. Uh so, so yeah guys, um hashtag Billy Joe Armstrong fight for COVID. Um so yeah, uh that's my first ever record that I've been that was kept by my mom. And now, guys, here's my official, my very first heavy metal record. Since I'm a big Metallic fan, obviously you have to have the Black Album. I love this album. This is an extremely good album. It's because basically there's two discs, and in the first place, it was really tough for me, and it still is for me to put two discs inside of a very small folder. So, yeah, a lot of good songs on this record. Uh, side one. Enter Sandman, Sabbath, you holier than Dio. And then side two, The Unforgiven, Whoever May Roam, and Don't Tread Me. Now, guys, you probably got, you guys probably know the, the gla, the gla, Glasman, the gla, whatever, the, the, the snake flag, let's just call it. And you guys know that it was a racist thing, and I totally disagree with that, and I think that wasn't a racist thing. I think it was, it's a really good support for, for, not, for Metallica, and, and basically for the rednecks or something. I don't think it's racist at, racist at, at all because 
basically people are saying uh, it, it means something about black people well guess what it doesn't people my opinion who cares so yeah guys um sorry about that okay guys now we're gonna get a little real here um I just went for a minute. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, next up, we have. I got this for Christmas this year. It's uh, and obviously I have this on CD, but my dad's keeping it hostage. It is Clifford's last album, aka Master of Puppets. Really good album. Love. I love this thing that should not be it. Like that is an amazing song. And I love uh, Leap of Messiah on side two. Like, that's an also really good song, too. Yeah, guys. Uh, I'm a pretty big Metallica fan, so. So, yeah, you guys better step out of my way and let me do my bidding. Oh, and just ha and I and say thank you to my grandma because she got me this crate for... But yeah, guys, and my records don't really fit in this, so I have to put them in sideways. Alright, guys, next up for our little Christmas pute, uh, the second record I got, we're going by order here, uh, from the Metallica career of vinyl, uh, we have Metallica Ride the Lightning. A lot of good songs on here, like, Fire by Fire by Fire, Ride the Lightning, Fade to Four in the Bell Tolls, Fade to Black. Um, but side two, dropped on the ice, it's scared, creeping death, the cult Cthulhu. Now guys, there's been a lot of conspiracy theories thinking that Cthulhu is a monster in Bird Box. I totally disagree with that. But yeah guys, uh, love this record. Um, but yeah guys, hashtag keep your records clean. Yeah, here's the back guys. Alright guys, now we're going to get into some of my legendary records. Now, before we do my legendary record, which I've wanted for like decades when I started listening to this band. Okay, I'll give you guys a hint of what they are. So basically, they're a British heavy metal band. Oh, Venom? No, it's not Venom. I don't even listen to Venom. Diamond Head? Good guess, but no. Alright. Okay, so it's a, it, they're related to horror... And they have their own character, basically. Okay? So, so before you, we do the big surprise, let's move on with another horror attraction known as Rob Zombie. Now, this is the 2001 album known as, uh, what is it called again? The Sinister Urge. Thank you. But yeah, guys, uh, Site A, Sinister Inc., which is basically kind of like a something out thing, where it's like just noises and then it turns into a song. And then... We have Demon Speeding, Dead Girl Superstar, Never Gonna Stop the Red Red Crew, Iron Head, and Go to California. I even listened to it to Side B, so. Okay, guys. Now we're on to the British Heavy Metal Band. Now, guys, I've been wanting this record for so much. It's famous for its art. It's famous for, this band's famous for their characters. So, here we have the legendary Iron Maiden number of the beast guys a bunch of good songs on this album rest in peace rest in peace cliff burr this was his last album with iron maiden before he died um i don't really love cliff burr that much but so yeah yeah guys side one invaders and uh invaders and children of the damned and the prisoner and then acacia avenue and then side two Okay, yeah, so mostly I, I've been sleeping more on side one than side two, guys. So, just put it up. Uh, so, yeah, I know Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, Gangland, and Hallow Be Thy Name. Like, the chorus is literally stuck in my head, guys. It's just like, Hallow Be Thy Name. So, yeah, guys, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty rad album. And the, and the art, too. And the art, too. All right, um, now we got to move on with the system. Now, guys, we have a little punk band that I like, that I would like to show you guys. Uh, their name starts with the G. Do you guys guess it? Green Day? 
Well, guess what? You're correct. It is Green Day, and this is my mom's actually, but she gave it to me because she doesn't like the name or so. Yeah, guys, this is their second like album. It's called her Plunk, and it's really thin too. So, but yeah, guys, a lot of good songs like Side A, Two Thousand Light Years Away, One for the Razor Bass, Both in the Paradise, Christy Road. I love that song. It sounds kind of metal in some sort of way. My pro my personal opinion, no disagreements. And we have Private Ale and Dominate Love Slave. I love Dominate Love Slave. But I, don't. I haven't even listened to Side 2 as much yet. But yeah, guys, still read record. I don't know. Like, no crap. Okay, guys, now we're going to get into the more heavier stuff, like thrash kind of stuff. Okay, guys, here we have Slayer, Rain, and Blood. Um, this is a really good album right here. Um, the only album that is produced by Rick Rubin and with the same label as System of a Down, which will be coming up really soon. Uh, side one, Angel of Death, Peace by Peace, uh, Necrophobic, and Altar of Sacrifice, which has a disturbing story which I can't talk about. Uh, Jesus Saves, Side 2, Criminally Insane, Reborn, Epidemic, which basically describes this whole system that's going around, that's going around right now. Uh, Reborn, Epidemic, Postmortem, and the last song, Raining Blood, guys. Like, that is a heavy song. Guys, everybody, every, I'm going to put it right now. For all you metalheads knowing, Slayer, Raining Blood is one of the most famous songs Slayer has ever put out in years, guys. Okay, this one I haven't even listened to yet. Oh, I totally forgot the event symbol, but I'll do it at the end of the video. Or I'll do it after this one. Okay, guys, so here we have System Up and Down. I haven't even listened to this one yet. Um, to Toxicity. 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 Toxicity, whatever. Toxic, so whatever, whatever. How about we just call it toxicity? Toxicity. There, there we go. So, you guys, I haven't even listened to this one yet. So, but yeah, guys, I've listened to a bunch of uh, different, like, I've at least heard little snippets of some of the songs, but some of these songs I've actually. <sighs> listen to like toxicity and aerials and chop suey and jet pilot like <laughs> those are those fun to open up on. yeah guys um all right guys this one's a fold out this one's a fold out record and so was the um i'm the only one but uh, honestly I, I was too lazy but yeah guys for all you male heads who know event sevenfold you guys should know, but for all you beginner male heads who don't know about Venice Sevenfold, you guys should check them out. You guys should get this album first. Oh, I'm just kidding. Get Skelts of the King, then this album, because I've heard at least one. Cool! So, guys, here's the inside. And there's two LPs in both sleeves. And, yeah, guys, there's basically at least one good song here. I haven't listened to the rest of the record, okay? So. So we have side A, the stage. I've only listened to that song. Alright guys, now it's time for our final one. And I have to say this is one of the most prettiest ones of all time. Okay guys, so basically, here we have Metallica's twin band, Megadeth. Megadeth Peace Cells, their second debut album. It has two on two of... Of the normal lineup and the old lineup. Like, here's some of the old lineup: um, Chris Poland and Gar Samuelson, which they're both jazz people. But who cares? They wanted to be in a band, so they so they're in a band. But yeah, guys, a lot of good songs on this record. Like, uh, I only listen to side one, guys, so I'm kind of lazy. Hey, stop it. Um, Wake up, dead. The conjuring. Peace cells. Obviously, that's a good song. So, I have them. I've slept on Devil's Island inside too. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, um, 
um, that's gonna be all for today's video. Uh, just want to say, um, I'm glad to be back at my other house. It feels amazing to be back at my other house. I hope uh, you guys have a good day and don't get into some COVID troubles. Yeah, peace and subscribe.